So I am going to do the first problem in your vibration topic. Problem 5.7.1 taken from Kurmi 23.1. Okay. The cantilever shaft 50 mm in diameter and 300 mm long has a disc of mass 100 kg at its free end. Understand the question very carefully. Okay. Uh, we will have the diagram also here. No, I don't, I don't think I will draw the diagram. Uh, the diagram is not there. There is a cantilever beam. So the diameter of the shaft is also given to you 50 mm diameter. Okay, 50 mm diameter. Length is 300 mm. Has a disc of mass 100 kg at its free end. The, the load here is 100 kg. Okay. The mass is given, you have to convert it into weight when you are calculating into 9.81. At its free end, the Young's modulus of the material of the shaft is 200 giga Newton per meter square. Determine the frequency of longitudinal and transverse vibrations of the shaft. Okay, so from this you have to understand both are having the same formula. So I am going to get the same answer for both. It is not like that. For longitudinal vibration, you have to find out the extension of the length of the shaft. For transverse vibration, you have to find out the downward deflection of the shaft. Both are not same. Have it very clearly in your mind. When you are reading from a book, you will have get this confusion first. Okay, so given data. Diameter of the shaft is 50 millimeter. Length is 300 mm, 0.03. Uh, I think it should be 0.3. So then mass is 100 kg, Young's modulus is 200 giga Newton is 200 into 10 power 9 Newton per meter square. Okay. So let's move on. We know the cross section area of the shaft, find out area pi by 4 d square. So 0.05 is the diameter. Put that there and find out the area comes around 1.96 into 10 power minus 3 meter square. Okay. Moment of inertia, pi by 64 d power 4 is the formula of moment of inertia for a solid circular shaft. Solid shaft. Okay. Pi by 64 into d power 4. Substitute the diameter into that. Pi by 64 into pi not pi power 4. It comes around 0.3 into 10 power minus 6 meter power 4. Okay. So the unit is meter power 4. Since you have a d power 4 in the formula. Okay. So now I am going to find out the frequency of longitudinal vibration first. That is the first question. So static deflection of the shaft. For uh, longitudinal extension, the formula of uh, cantilever beam is WL by AE. Here I am considering the shaft to be like this. Only then I can easily find out the longitudinal variation. Okay. Now if I put the diagram like this, you will easily understand. What is the increase and decrease in the length of the shaft? Here it is called as deflection. Okay. For the second case, transverse vibration, this is your case. Your deflection will be like this. So this is your deflection in the second case. So in the first case, your increase in length will be considered as deflection. So first case, I am going to find out this del. This one I am going to do now. Later I will be doing this. Okay. So longitudinal, this formula for a cantilever beam with a mass or a weight at the end, the longitudinal extension formula, deflection formula is W L by A, very simple formula. So where W is your weight, L is the length of the shaft, A is your cross section area of shaft, B is the length modulus. All this data you list down. M is 100 kg. W is M into G. 9.9810 Newton. So L is uh, 0 0.3 meter. Area of the shaft is 1.96 into 10 power minus 3 meter square. Young's modulus is 200 into 10 power 9. Substitute all the values into the formula. So what, what are all the values are substituted? So W is 9810 Newton. W. Yeah, tell me. Uh, I, I can't hear you properly. Uh, can you repeat? Nine eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you're right. The calculation is wrong. I'll correct it. Thank you. Thank you. So this should be nine eighty one. Save it. 
Okay. Uh, but since I have taken the answers from your book, the answer is correct. There. It is my typing mistake. Uh, so if you check with the calculator, you will understand that. So 981, so 100 into 9.81 is 981. Uh, sorry, I didn't notice that. Fine. So 981 into 0.3 divided by uh, 3 into 3 EI. This point is nothing but a multiplication. Okay. This is not 3.2. This is 3 into 200 into 10 power 9 is your uh, Young's modulus. And 0.3 into 10 power minus 6 is your moment of inertia. Okay. Use proper parenthesis when you are doing in a calculator. So that gives you your deflection answer comes around. 0.147 into 10 power minus 3 meter. So I have taken the book answer, therefore uh, it is correct only. So this I have made a mistake, but this is correct. 0.147 into 10 power minus 3. Some one of you can cross check this answer. 0.147 into 10 power that is 0.147 millimeter is a longitudinal deflection of the cantilever shaft. Okay, fine. So now I am going to I, I know this formula. If I know the del value, I can find out vibration, a natural frequency. 0.4985 divided by root of del. It's the longitudinal frequency formula, okay, natural frequency formula. So, 0.4985 divided by root of 0.147 in 10 power minus 3 comes around 41 hertz. Is the frequency of longitudinal vibration in the shaft. 41 hertz. What is hertz? If you have a vibration cycle happening one time per second, it is called one hertz of frequency. One time per second. So, this means that this longitudinal oscillation, extension and uh, contraction of the shaft. Uh, Elongation and contraction of the shaft happens 41 times per second. So it is 41 hertz. Okay, so that is your natural frequency of longitudinal vibration. So you can write the answer. Frequency of uh, uh, this, this is. Uh, the next slide. This is where we were, right? We were doing the longitudinal calculation. I think I changed the slide. <coughs> anyway, I'll repeat it once. No problem. So we were seeing this static deflection uh, W L by A E, 100 kg. Uh, mass is uh, the weight is 100 into 9.81 981 newton. Uh, L is 0 0.3 meter of the shaft length of the shaft. Area of cross section 1.96 into 10 power minus 3 meter square. E is 200 into 10 power 9 meter square. So substitute all the values here. 981 into 0 0.3 divided by. Uh, a E cross section area of the shaft is uh, 1.96 into 10 power minus 3 meter square multiplied by Young's modulus 200 into 10 power 9 newton per meter square. Correct? Are you understanding? So W is 981. Length of the shaft is 0 0.3. So uh, then uh, 1.96. Where is it? 1.96. A is 1.96. Cross section area. See A. Young's modulus is 200 into 10 power 9. Okay. If you solve this, you will get. 0.751 into 10 power minus 6 meter is the longitudinal deflection of the shaft. Okay, what is longitudinal again? So, a shaft suspended from the ceiling with a weight at the end, increase in length, deflection. It comes around 0.751 into 10 power minus 6, longitudinal case. Okay, so uh, 0.498 formula is same for both the cases. If you find del, finding del is the difficult part, after that it is easy. 0.498 divided by square root of this 0.715 to 10 power minus 6. So the answer is 575 hertz. Earlier I went to the next slide. After I came out to correct the mistake, I went to the next slide. So this is the answer. So 0.498 into square divided by square root of 0.751 into 10 power minus 6 is 575 hertz. Which means it is happening 575 times per second. Which is happening? This alternate elongation and contraction of the shaft due to the weight and due to the applied uh, force happens. 500 and 575 times a second, 575 hertz. It's a natural frequency of longitudinal vibration. Okay. Next case is your transverse vibration. For the same setting, uh, same cantilever setting. Now make it horizontal. The shaft is like this with the 100 kg load. Same diameter, same moment of inertia. The weight is like this, and now the deflection is like this. Okay. So how many times it vibrates per second? This type of vibration, this deflection, right? This is very similar to putting a steel scale on the bench and vibrating it. You would have done it in your class. That sort of a vibration. How many times it happens per second? That is the question. Okay. So, tra free transverse vibration. Uh, so, uh, formula for finding that uh, static deflection of a cantilever in transverse direction due to the load W at the end of the length. 
no load in the middle, weight of the beam is neglected, only load is at the tip of the cantilever, the formula del is W L cube by 3 E I. Okay. So, W is 100 K, mass is 100 kg, so multiply 9.81 will get 981, uh, length of shaft is 0 0.3, uh, moment of inertia is 0 0.3, this is already calculated, same moment of inertia, I is, so here uh, L and I appears very similar, uh, when you are writing it will be different, okay. I is 0 0.3 into 10 power minus 6 meter power 4, E is 200 into 10 power 9, uh, same uh, material, uh, Young's modulus, substitute everything into the above formula, del is, uh, in, in place of uh, weight, I am going to put 981 Newton in length 0.3 cube, okay, 981, 0 0.3 cube divided by 3 into uh, Young's modulus E into I, moment of inertia. So, now if I solve this, I will get the longitude, uh, transverse deflection of the cantilever view, okay. So, it is 0.147 millimeter or 0.147 into 10 power minus 3 meter. Now put this into the same natural frequency formula because we have derived and proved that the same formula is coming for both longitude and transverse. It is not that I am assuming they are same. The derivation answer itself is same for both the derivations. 0.4985 divided by root of del. So 0.4985 divided by root of 0.147 10 power minus 3 comes on 41 hertz. Transverse case. Okay, so you can write frequency of transverse vibration is 41 hertz. So the answers you sum up longitudinal vibration frequency 575 hertz. Transverse vibration frequency 41 hertz, both are natural frequencies. Okay, so that is no damping is provided. Reference is a 23.1 problem in your 